All kids out of the pool for adult swim. All kids out! My father taught me a poem when I was a kid. You want to hear it? Is this something you feel compelled to do? Well, I mean, I am here, and I got the poem. Right. Locked and loaded. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, then. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, something, 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 run. I'm paraphrasing here. Something, 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 son. It's n uh, nice. No, I mean, it's good to have, like, poems from childhood, I think. Yeah, your father, you say, read that to you? Yeah, I think he wrote it. Did he? Yeah. Great. Except for the parts that you don't remember at all. Well, yeah, but I mean, the, the idea of it, the fact that he read it to me every night. You know? mm -hmm. I mean, I remember that mm -hmm. crystal clear. I gotcha. You know, thanks for uh, what you sort of tried to kind of do for Brandon. Helping out your kid. I, well, thank what you. I was trying to Sincerely. do. Hey, no problem. You know, I'm always here to help out, especially Brendan. You know, I like him and stuff. Well, you, today you did good. Hey, thanks, Andrew. Okay, pal, let's go. Hey, hold up, officer. You're a lawyer, right, Andrew? Yeah, I'm not that kind of... Oh, what, what kind Mostly of Mostly, more out of court litigation, not really, really. So you can't help out on this? Not so much. Okay, let's go. I found it. I found the foot. Brendan, I found the foot. It is finished. The clock has stopped. I have found the foot. Uh, Brendan? Yeah. Why is she doing that? I have no idea. <sighs> what a week. We show the movie backwards. Huh? It'll be cool. You know, it opens with the ending, and then it then ends with the beginning. It's backwards. Brendan, 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 Brendan. You can't just make a movie backwards. Oh, no, 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 no. I can. I can't see that. That's the new thing. You know, all the directors are doing it, so... Uh... But, Brendan, if we show the ending first, then won't that give away the ending? Yeah, yeah but no, 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 because it's not, it's not really the ending. Brendan, the movie's already written. Right. Forwards. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's in order already. Right. So you can't change it and just make it backwards. No, I can. All the directors are doing it. Yeah, Brenda, but those directors are hacks, and they're just looking for a hook. <laughs> Let's shoot the last scene, which is uh, now the opening scene. Uh, you'll see. Okay, <clears throat> last scene, action. Oh. <clears throat> no, Larry, let me tell you how it's going to be. I'm going out there and walking down that aisle. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Alone, in the other direction, down the aisle and out the door. That's what happens when you have an affair with my sister the night before our wedding. <sighs> Kathy, can't you give me another chance? Look, Larry, the only thing I'm going to do, I mean, wait, the only thing is, wait, can we do it again? I screwed it up. Nope, cut, perfect. But I messed perfect. up. Brendan. I'll fix it in post. You always say you're going to fix it in post, but you know what? You don't fix anything in post. Next scene, which is really the next to the last scene. Okay, action. You had an affair with my sister? Cut. Perfect. I don't know, Brendan. I will fix it in post. That's a wrap for today, guys. My dad's coming to pick me up. You know, I gotta agree with Jason and Melissa. You can't just show a movie backwards. It wouldn't make sense. You don't understand. Okay, head down. Got Interlock it. the fingers. Stick your butt out. All right. Bend your knees. Okay. Okay, lean on the balls of your feet. Hey, this isn't very comfortable. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. You're fine. And move closer to the ball. And keep your, Got just, it. okay, wait a minute. Okay. Just relax. Okay. Okay, you're relaxed. Okay, Not now put your really. head down. Okay, it's down. Okay, swing. Ooh. Swing! It took me 20 minutes to get like this. Swing now. No. You can't think about it, you just have to swing. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry! You know, golf's a great game, Brendan. It teaches discipline, humility, sportsmanship, math. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of all those things, you know. Of course I'd you are. I really like to spend. And you know, and it's something we can do together. That's the whole thing. Yeah. That's why I signed you up for some golf lessons. What? It'll be fun. God, I'm, not, I'm not really sure that golf is for me. Oh, no, it is, uh, though. It is? Yeah. Oh. It's great. Oh, well, okay, then. Yeah. Hey, wow, nice shot there. Thanks, Brendan. Sorry. Good reflexes, Melissa. For a minute there, I thought the ball was gonna hit you. Anyway, Brendan, backwards movie doesn't make any sense. Huh. Especially if you get to the movies late, like me, you know? Mm. I mean, I hit the show five minutes into the movie and found out I missed the ending, you know? Yeah. Called Logic, yeah. all right? Yeah. But I think your father's right about golf. Great game. Really? Yeah, you should take it up. You do? Yeah, I, mean, I used to golf in high school. 
Really? Yeah, I almost made it to the state finals one year. What happened? I didn't. Oh. I choked, all right? Okay. But not in the way you think. I choked my opponent. Oh. Yeah. I got mad, all right? He was beating me, so I choked him. Oh. And apparently you can't do that. Well, there you go. But believe you me, I got my just rewards. I waited for him in the parking lot afterwards. And I took his clubs. Who's the winner in that situation? You. You want a trophy or a set of golf clubs? Golf clubs. Golf clubs. Golf clubs. Yes. Yeah. So you want me to help you with your golf or what? No, thanks. Melissa, are you comfortable? Yes, I'm good. Can I get you a chair? No, thanks, coach. Maybe just something to drink. <sighs> I don't think she gets sarcasm, brother. Mm -mm. Go get her some juice. Okay. And a chair. Yeah, boy, I don't know, Brendan. Showing a movie backwards just sounds silly. Yeah. Did you see that movie, Memento, though? Yes. That was a great movie. Yeah. Yeah. Get another one, Brendan. Mm. And, and an adult, don't lift your head. Okay. The Sunset Boulevard opened with the main character dead in a pool. Yeah. Yeah. Get another one, Brendan. What if you open with the middle of the movie, or... Uh, or what if you open with the beginning, then showed the ending, mm -hmm. and ended with the middle? Mm-hmm. Hit another one. My arms are tired. Brendan, do you think a champion complains about his arms being tired? Yes. We'll hit another one then. Here's the deal. Mm -hmm. I think it's just maybe a little too avant-garde. Mm -hmm. Right. It's mm -hmm. not that the movie is mm -hmm. stupid. It's just that the way you want to do it is stupid. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. It's the hook, mm -hmm. not it's the backwards. Right. It's the mm -hmm. backwards hook mm -hmm. is not the right way mm -hmm. to right. go. Right. Do you hear where mm -hmm. we're coming from? Because mm -hmm. the hook is hack, mm -hmm. Brendan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's uh, interesting, guys, because everybody I talk to thinks it's a great idea. Really? <sighs> mm -hmm. So who have you talked to, Brenda? Other hack directors? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did you call the hack hotline? Mm-mm. Yeah. Plus, Brendan, we're just giving you constructive criticism. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's supposed to help the movie. Mm -hmm. It's called process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, Melissa? Yeah. We love you and your work. We're just mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. very happy mm -hmm. about this particular mm -hmm. process. Although, 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 mm -hmm. you have made some hack movies in the past. Mm -hmm. There's no question mm -hmm. about Let's that. Let's not talk mm -hmm. about the past. Let's mm -hmm. just focus mm -hmm. on the present. Well, I'm just saying, a lot of, a lot of Brendan's mm -hmm. work is derivative. Mm -hmm. But whatever. Mm -hmm. It seems like almost parody to make a backwards movie right after one came out. <laughs> But you're the director. Well, let's keep going with mm -hmm. how you want to do it. But mm -hmm. if it doesn't work, mm -hmm. can we do it the regular way, Brendan? Mm -hmm. Can we? Mm -hmm. We can. Mm -hmm. Promise. Mm -hmm. Do you have your fingers crossed? Mm -mm. Do you have anything crossed? Mm -mm. Brendan, you're crossing your eyes. Mm -hmm. Totally hack move. Mm -hmm. oh, Mom, come on. How much longer is this going to be? It's only been an hour. Oh, how come Josie gets so many ear infections anyway? I don't know, honey. Maybe you don't uh, clean her ears good enough. That's probably it. Hey, can you talk to Dad for me? Nope. But I don't. I don't like golf. Neither do I. Miss Small. Yeah. The doctor's ready for Josie. Finally. Gotcha. Just give me a couple of minutes here. You're not ready? Yeah, I almost got it. All right, Miss Sullivan. Just. T Mom. Oh, damn. You know you can take that in with you. Brendan, hurry up. Come on, let's go. Pot, Brendan. Pot. Hey, how about that? Well, okay. Very good. That's a 14. Not bad. That's better than a 15, as we say. Uh -huh. Not bad, actually. That's the game of golf. That's the rush, Brendan. There's the rush of adrenaline, right? You feel it? Yeah. So your total score is... Uh-huh. Five. Seven. 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 One, two, one, eleven. Two, seventeen. Minus mm -hmm. three. Alright. How's it going over there? Hmm? You still figuring out my score? What's that there? How am I doing? Not so bad there. Okay. A couple more holes to add up there, Brendan. Okay, okay. Triple bogey, quintuple uh -huh. bogey, quintuple bogey. Right? 126. Hey, nice. For nine holes. I don't say this often, but you're a terrible golfer. Well, um, if it's any consolation, mm -hmm. I actually don't really care. Well, that's not the attitude to have. I know. Well, I just figured I'd be honest with you. You gotta learn to love this game, Brendan. I know. See, that's a tough part. Mm. I hate it. Well, I can't help you then. All right. Are we through? I think so. Can you get that scorecard? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they use pencils. You shot a 94? Mm -hmm. Brendan, that's great. Yeah, well, thank you. It's really easy once you Of course you know, it is. Hey, look, I'm playing with a prospective client this weekend. Mm -hmm. He's bringing his son to the game. Yeah. Why don't you play too? Oh, uh, 
Mm, this weekend? Not good. Come I, I on, Brendan. No, no, no. Come on. Okay, Dad, I'm going to be honest with you. I changed my score. It doesn't matter. What matters is you and I are going to play golf. I'll pick you up Sunday at 645. You playing at night? Ha. Huh. Oh, that's funny. Funny guy. See you then, partner. Dad. Hello? Hello? Ugh. Yep. Mom? This is going to drive me crazy. Dad wants me to play golf with him. Ugh. And, you know, I don't want to play. And, like, you know, and I'm not very good. And I, you know, I lied about my score, and like he didn't care, but he wants me to play, so I got to do it. You know what I'm saying, Mom? What? I said I lied about my score. You don't have to play golf, Brendan. You know, eh, did you take that from the doctor's office? What? Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Brendan, what are you doing here so early? The game isn't for another uh, five minutes. I'm in trouble, Coach McGurk. All right, what's your name? What? No, not not girl trouble. Golf. Golf trouble. I finished my lessons and I'm. St- hey, what's the difference, huh, Brendan? Ha. <laughs> ah. Ha. Ah. I finished my lessons and I'm I'm still terrible and 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 now I'm playing with my father on Sunday. So. Uh huh. Now you want my help, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. So you've had the best. Mm-hmm. Now you want the. Wait a minute. Okay. I just don't want to embarrass myself or my father. I said, wait a minute, Brendan. Huh? You've had the rest. Now you want the best. There you go. Mm-hmm. Sunday, huh? Yeah. Well, that only gives me a few days, mm-hmm. but I'll do it. All right, here's the plan. You meet me first thing tomorrow morning at the driving range and wear a hat. What for? Well, you want to learn how to play golf, right? Yeah. So you got to have a hat. Okay. Coach, what are you doing to the soccer balls? Leveling the playing field, Brendan. Leveling the playing field. Hmm? Brendan? I love how you just said that to me. <laughs> Melissa! Yeah? If it went any slower, you'd be able to read the labeling. I did. What does it say? Wilson. Like that movie. Yeah, he grew that long beard. I know, it was cool. He loved Wilson. I know, he gained like 40 pounds and then he lost like 80. He's a great actor. Did he win an Academy Award for that one? I don't know, I don't watch that Mm. Okay, head up. Head up, feet down, arms... uh... Oh, my arms right there. There they are. Hips, hips moving. Okay. Eyes uh, open, open. Hands, there they are. Hands on club. Oh, other way. <laughs> okay. Coach McGurk, what are you doing walking down the middle of the driving range? I could have killed you. Well, the way you're hitting, Brendan, I reckon walking directly in front of you is just about the safest place for a man to be. Why are you talking like that? Ow! Son of a bitch! Sorry, what the hell are you doing on the driving range? I'm trying to help a kid! Are you sure you're okay? Fine, I've been hit by golf balls before, Brendan. Oh. All right, the first thing you gotta do is learn some golf etiquette. You don't think just hitting the ball is, you know... Oh, uh, so you know know everything, Brendan, huh? You want me to leave? You want to do this by yourself? No. You know golf so good. No, I don't. (sighs) All right, number one, where's your hat? Right here. All right, here we go. Let's say you just sank a 25-foot putt, right? Mm -hmm. To win a championship. Okay. What would you do? Oh, uh, I don't know. Wrong. You tip your hat and wave to the crowd. All right? It's a golf joke. It's funny. Mm Mm-hmm. Doesn't hurt to be a clown on the course, Brendan. Okay, okay. So let me see you tip your hat. Hey, how's it going? How do you do? Look look at me. Yeah. (laughs) Goofing around. (laughs) See, that's funny. All right, now. Goofing it down. Very good. That's enough. Thank you. All right, let me see that swing of yours. Okay. All right. Ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, line it up. Line it up. And, there you go. And ready? Good setup. Thank you. And we'll bring it back. <laughs> Oof. Mm. Wow, you suck. You're so weak. You gotta lift the club. I am lifting the Is club. Is it too heavy for you? No. Let me just try it again. Okay. Oof. Brendan. Yeah? I think it's time to level the playing field. Okay, I um, edited some of the stuff we did, and uh, I think you're gonna like it. Oh my god, what did you do? It was an accident. Where's Ginger? I, I don't know, somewhere. I need my pills. <laughs> I'll get them for you, Dad. I need my pills. You did this. No. Dad, stop. I can't find Ginger. Ginger's my father's favorite fish. Please tell me this isn't... Ginger! Oh. What's going on down there? My father's coming! 
Do you think I'm a horrible person? No, I think you're very pretty. No, I don't mean horrible to look at. I mean horrible because you're my sister's fiancé and we just had an affair. Oh, then, yeah. She must never know about us. No argument here, baby. I'll go check on your shirt. Okay, I'll look at the fish. Hey, stupid fish. Oh, no. What was that, Larry? Nothing. Um, can I borrow your car? Larry, what did you do? Your shirt will be ready in a little while. Oh, that's okay. It feels pretty good with it off. Wow. Do you work out? Ah, uh, yeah, sometimes. Oh, you know, I get a chance. <laughs> yeah, you know, you remind me a lot of Kathy. Well, we are twins. Right, right, right. I love the way fish wiggle. It makes me want to dance. You are wild. And I love that pickle juice. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, did I spit on you? A little bit. I don't mind. Wait till you meet my father. He's crazy. Oops. Sorry. There I go, being clumsy. Better take off that shirt and let me wash it. Hey, do you want a glass of wine? Sure. I'm Larry, Kathy's fiancé. Nice to meet you, Larry. I'm Mary, Kathy's sister. Kathy's not here. Wow, your hands are very soft. I soak them in pickle juice. Really? No, but I like saying it because it's funny and I'm kind of wild like that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. Oh. So, uh, what do you guys think? Um... It's backwards. Sucks, this. Get it? That's backwards for this. Sucks. Yeah? Yeah. Any, uh, anything else? You made the plot go backwards. Yeah, yeah. If you want to know what I think, Brendan, I have to be honest. Mm-hmm. It's backwards. Mm-hmm. Can we flip it? I don't know. Jason, do you agree? Like, it's um, just kind of hard to... I don't want to mm -hmm. have to keep mm -hmm. broaching mm -hmm. the same thing, but, mm -hmm. um, hack? Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, we'll fix it in post. Hey, guys, what are you doing on Sunday? Hey, can, can we start, you know? No, yeah, sure, Small Reed. Yeah, uh, do you guys mind if we wait, like, one more minute? Just, just what like you, a, What's wrong? Uh, nothing, uh, nothing. It's just, uh, We should nothing. just, uh... You know, it was supposed to be 7 or 3 was the tea, you Reed, know. I don't know what we're waiting for. Look, Reed, I'm really sorry. The kid is a great golfer. He shot a 94 the other day. Really? Wow. What the... Who's that? Oh, gee. Brendan, what's McGurk doing here? My caddy. Caddy? Yes. Your caddy. Uh, he's, just, he's helping me, Dad. Sorry I'm late, guys. I had to wait till the sun was in the right position to get that effect. Walking up the fairway. Nice. Yeah. Well done. You're you're his caddy? Yeah, Bag of McGook's the name. Golfing's my game. Are you wearing soccer cleats? Yeah, yeah, I don't have golf cleats. <laughs> uh, Reed, this is uh, my son's soccer coach. I don't know what he's... Soccer coach? Yeah. Bag of McGook. Yeah, that's terrific. Mm -hmm. Great. So can we play? Okay, let's play a little father-son golf now. All right, let's yeah. play ball! So we shot, sir. Thank you. I reckon that ball would thank you for the ride if it could. Hey, <laughs> could you stop doing that now? What? Doing what? The whole thing. The bagger. Bag of, yeah. Yeah. Bag of McGurk. Yeah, I'd, I'd appreciate that, too. Yeah. Actually, it is kind of getting annoying. Yes, it is. Yeah. You made your point. You made your point. The tone down on the bagger. Yeah, yeah. that'd be great. Yeah. Right. Go ahead, son. There you go. There you go. Right down the middle, sir. Like a hey, bead yeah. of sweat down the middle of a woman's hey. I thought you were going to... Sorry, was I doing it again? Was Listen, I doing it? Reed, your kid's got quite a shot there. Thank you. You're up, Brendan. Uh, right. My turn. Go ahead, Brendan. Um, just let me talk this over with my caddy really quickly. Great. Are you sure this is going to work? Trust me, just head into the woods. The woods. What do you think I should use there, caddy? Bagger. Bagger? What do you think I should use there? Just pick a club. Ah, yes. Yes. All right. Son, stand back. Boy, here I am with a club and not a baby seal in sight. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> now, um... Let's go, Brendan. A little swing there. Hold on. Hit the ball, Brendan. Let her fly. There you go. All right, getting ready, getting ready. You know, it's funny before I left. Hit the uh, ball! Right. You Brendan, hit it! Hit it. <laughs> nope. Into the woods. Too bad, Brendan. Jeez, all that time for that? He opened up his left shoulder. So, Melissa. Yeah? You know what you're doing, right? When you say now, I'm going to throw the ball. Let's come up with a better word than now, because that could mess up. Why? When I say... Shouldn't you be watching? Did he already hit? I don't know. No, oh, I think he did. You say now, and then I'll throw the ball. Just throw it now. No, you have to wait till you see him hit. Now. Did he hit it, or you just want me to... I don't know. Just throw it. Okay. Hey, it's early in the day. He's... He'll make par. Wait a minute. Your ball found, uh, found bark, hit a tree, came out. All right. Looks like luck is on your side, Brendan. Damn right. Yeah, yeah, lucky. I, uh, well, that's me, you know. I, I probably will have a lot of great shots like that today. What's the matter with your eye? Nothing. Why are you winking at me? Hey, nice way to hit the ball the long way. 
into the hole. Should have made Brody. Yeah, well, <laughs> I made Brody before I left the house. We'll finish it up, Brandon. Oh, okay, that's... Oh, oh whoops. <laughs> okay, just tip... Pick it up, Brandon. Uh, oh, wait, 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 hold on, wait, what? Just okay. mark him down for a 20 and let's go. Hey, I saw that. You moved your ball. No, I, it, was, it was an accident. You I were was, cheating. I saw you. No, I was stretching my back, and with my, my knee went out when, with my foot, and it hit the ball. But it was a reflex. Dad, were you, were you cheating? You better believe it, Brendan. I'm getting killed here. Dad. You admit it. Yeah, look, it's part of the game. It's golf. We all suck. Dad! Why else would you use a pencil to keep score in a game? Dad! Well, I don't cheat. Dad! I've been cheating all day, too! Thanks, Brennan, but you don't have to cover for me. I'm a cheater. No, no! Andrew, he's telling the truth. Hey, you can't drive a cart onto a green! Oh, uh, what are they gonna do? Call the police? Yes! Andrew? They might. Oh. Small, this is too much. Come on, son. We're out here. We're playing through. Bye. Dad, you just lost a client. Uh, I didn't want to work with that guy anyway. He's an ass. He's not a cheater like us. Yeah. Andrew, uh, look, I helped him. I taught him to cheat. He's a really terrible golfer and he's a bad soccer player. He's a good cheater. And uh, Melissa and Jason helped me, too. You can come out now, guys. Hi. How's it going? Hi. I'm hi. Hey, you know, Andrew, you're a lucky guy to have a son like Brendan. I know. My father taught me a poem when I was a kid. You want to hear it? Is this something you feel compelled to do? Well, I mean, I am here, and I got the poem right. locked and loaded. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, then. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, something, 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 run. And I'm paraphrasing here. Something, 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 son. It's n uh, nice. No, I mean, it's good to have, like, poems from childhood, I think. Yeah, your father, you say, read that to you? Yeah, I think he wrote it. Did he? Yeah. Great. Except for the parts... That you don't remember it all. Well, yeah, but I mean, the, the idea of it, the fact that he read it to me every night, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, I remember that mm -hmm. crystal clear. I gotcha. You know, thanks for uh, what you sort of tried to kind of do for Brandon. Helping out your kid. I, well, thank you. That's what you. I was trying Sincerely. to do. Sincerely. Hey, no problem. You know, I'm always here to help out, especially Brendan. You know, I like him and stuff. Well, you, today you did good. Hey, thanks, Andrew. Okay, pal, let's go. Hey, hold up, officer. You're a lawyer, right, Andrew? Yeah, I'm not that kind of... Oh, uh, what, what kind Mostly of Mostly, li more out of court litigation, not really, really. So you can't help out on this? Not so much. Okay, let's go. I found it. I found the foot. Brendan, I found the foot. It is finished. The clock has stopped. I have found the foot. Uh, Brendan? Yeah. Why is she doing that? I have no idea. <sighs> what a week. If you gotta get in the game, you gotta get with the family. Homer, Marge, Lisa, and Bart. Don't you understand, son? Your whole life has been a video game. This fall, roll with your homies. Cool. I start this riot in the name of decency. Game over, man. Game over! The Simpsons Game. Coming this fall to every platform ever made. Whatever! Shh. Taco Bell's new red Chero chicken soft tacos bursting with so much great taste. You'll be floored by flavor. Make way for the big taste of the Ranchero Chicken Soft Taco. We pack it with our new marinated grilled all-white meat chicken. Then take things up a notch with freshly prepared Fiesta Salsa and a splash of zesty avocado ranch sauce. Whoa, for a burst of fresh flavor, think outside the bun.
this out. It's a chick. Man, I'd give anything to see what she's got under that lettuce. Playing with your food, that's real mature. You're gonna eat that? What the hell is going on? Oh my god, zombies! Have you returned from the dead to eat my brains? We eat cow brains all the time back on the old pickle homestead. Does that mean I'm a zombie? Those aren't horrible zombies. They're delightful alumni. It's homecoming. So I did die at the tractor pole. Welcome back, alumni, to this year's homecoming. Woo! Barter College! It's good to be back. Hey, Rick, Tony, check out my new shopping cart. It's totally tricked out. Tin foil handle grips and, uh, that's pretty much it. Wow, look at all these old people. That's what we'll be like after we graduate. That'll be sweet. I hope I can afford a shopping cart like that. You're so materialistic. Hey, your cart's on fire. No, those are racing flames. Oh, wait, it is on fire! Lucky he had a fire extinguisher in his pants. Where the hell is everyone, anyway? Getting settled over there. Oh, look who stopped by to say hello. It's our beloved Barter College mascot, the strapping young man. Ooh, you're a hot little piece of ass, ain't you? <laughs> That's our mascot. I thought our mascot was the San Diego chicken. I mean, isn't this the University of San Diego chicken? The strapping young man continues to bring the football team luck. When he's at the game, they always cover the spread. I got a daughter your age. She's dead. And of course, you all remember our honorable Dean Earhart. Bring back the strapping young man! Lousy cheapskates. How the hell am I supposed to raise money from people who won't even spring for a motel? Wow! Someone made it big. A barter college graduate went on to become a limo driver. Mike Whalen, class 87. How'd you get a limo? I won $150 million in the Tri-State Powerball Lotto. So, what are you getting me for homecoming? Wake up, Del. Homecoming is just another one of those made-up Hallmark holidays, like Secretary's Day or my grandmother's funeral. But probably a sweater. <laughs> Look, someone changed the menu board. Oh, you mean there ain't no fried rectum? Pranks are part of the excitement of homecoming week. <laughs> like that hilarious fake vomit. Oh, dear. I'll have the <laughs> bunghole surprise. Okay, one order of bunghole su- Hey! <laughs> I'll have the anus burger. <laughs> Here you are, honey. Aww. Wow, a barter alum with 150 million dollars. You know how much that is, Linda? Let me give you some perspective. If you spent 50 million dollars a day, it would take you three days to go through it all. But how are you going to convince Waylon to give you the money? Simple. I'm going to throw a banquet in my honor. You mean his honor? That's even better. He's more likely to give money if we honor him. Linda, I could kiss you. I could, right? That menu board? I haven't laughed so hard since that guy called me Ed Pickle. Wish I'd had a comeback. But how do you mock a guy named Big Richard Uckwad? I bet I know who did it. Those dudes Shep and Billion. They're funny. Kind of like that comic strip Marmaduke. <laughs> what a big dog. Oh, wait. I'm thinking of Kathy. Which one can't find a man? Chef and Billiam. Mm, but we don't know how to make words out of words. Yeah, well, I've got in mind a prank that's so awesome, so devious, so complex, that people will be talking about it for years. You mean break something? Dude, you and I, we're like this. Dean Earhart, this is awfully extravagant. Can the school afford it? You gotta spend money to make money, sweetheart. Here, try this caviar. I had it shipped in from some foreign place. What's this receipt for cannons? Uh, it's for the rental of the cannons. 
which we will fire off right after we get the dough from Lotto Boy. Having a good time, Mr. Whalen? <laughs> Excellent. Welcome, alumni. As you can see, we've spared no expense to show how much you mean to this school. Hey, get away from those shrimp rolls! But I'm Marty Burke, class of 92. Did you win the lotto? I don't think so. Ah! Mission accomplished. What did you do? I took all the silverware. Now watch the fireworks begin. They ruined your prank. Keep watching. All right, let's go. So, uh, Mr. Whalen, did I mention how we rely on the generous contributions of our alumni? Yeah, I think it was right after you refused to let my best friend Marty Burke eat a shrimp roll. Oh, I thought he was the other Marty Burke, the uh, neo-Nazi who uh, burned down the rainforest while uh, clubbing a harp seal. Yeah, that's him. All right, I'm out of here. Wait, come back. The cannons. We, we could shoot them at the harp seals or, or the rainforest. Just tell me what to shoot. He said shoot. Time to light these boom tubes. Hold on. See, I was born with an extra set of eardrums, so my hearing is extremely sensitive. You spent all this money without the board's permission? And how much did you raise? Roughly $9.50. Listen, Earhart, we're gonna see to it that this whole fiasco comes out of your pocket. But, sir, I... You're the most irresponsible administrator I've ever seen. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to set a towering pyramid of homecoming logs on fire. Oh, God, I'm ruined. How am I ever going to come up with the money to pay for all this? I'll just have to dip into the endowment fund. You mean the endowment fund you rated to pay for this? Is there any other endowment fund? I, I'm serious, because if there is, we could borrow money from that one. World War II was won with toothpicks and ant bait. How much can we get for that thing? That mascot is a school treasure. He's been here for 80 years. Not to mention the football team always covers the spread when he's around. Hey, that gives me an idea. We've been here eight hours. Why don't you hike up your skirt a little? Why don't you go to hell? Fine. I'll just have to bet the remaining endowment money on the homecoming game. Prude. Their brilliant wordplay on the freshman cafeteria's menu board harkens back to the golden age of homecoming hijinks. I can't believe Shep and Billiam's prank made the paper. But no one even noticed ours. Yeah, it says their prank was almost as outrageous as the 1937 homecoming when Roscoe Hickland kidnapped the University of Atlanta's mascot. He stole a mascot? Sweet. Hey, that's what we should do. But we don't know where the University of Atlanta is. Everybody knows it's under the ocean. It sank years ago. Don't you read the Bible? But if it's under the ocean, how can we steal their mascot? No, dude, we'll steal the barter mascot. Oh, good. Most of that college is above ground. God, I can't wait to see the faces on those tools over at Barter when they realize we've stolen their mascot. What's the point spread on the homecoming game? I don't know what you're talking about. Betting's illegal. Just like uh, putting a hidden camera in the women's bathroom. And neither of those things happen here at Andy's. Cut the crap! What's the spread? Barter plus 45 and a half. All right, steady, Earhart. You only need to bet enough to make back the cost of the banquet. How much you in for? All of it. All of it! Oh, this is a substantial bet. Uh, allow me to turn on the high rollers bathroom cam for you. The only thing that will stop my nose bleeds. They keep this old man in a stable? That just seems wrong. By the way, did you bring the bag to put over his head? Cool. 
Jeez, the stable stinks. Yeah, it has that old people smell. Dude, look at his skin. Have you ever seen an elephant's ass? Why? It's huge! Anyway, let's get back to the old guy. Look at his skin! I played Pinochle on Elvis's back! This is awesome. We're gonna be like campus heroes for this. Now you go in and signal me when it's safe to bring him through. All right, but don't talk about me while I'm gone. I can't believe that guy thinks we're gonna talk about him. He's so paranoid. Do you like him? Hey, Todd. Um, what you doing? I'm on lobby duty. For how much longer? Thankfully, just four more nerve-wracking minutes. You'd be amazed at the f up sh it goes down here, man. Then who takes over? Charlie, the blind RA from the second floor. Man, they got this place locked down tighter than Fort Lauderdale. Todd's there now, and in four minutes there's gonna be this blind guy. Which ones are the blind guys? Those are the ones that are allergic to chocolate, right? Bad news. Charles Schultz is dead. Well, yes, but also someone stole the strapping young man. Good grief, my bet. Gather the RAs, we gotta find that mascot. What's that smell? Um, that's just Sanford. No, this is something else. I know what you're smelling. From under cheese. Oh, I get it. From under my nuts. No, from under your nuts! <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. And Frank hid me in her purse! Dude, let's go find out how much everyone loves our prank. I hope it went over as well as our silverware gag. That was a colossal failure. Is that how you saw it? I remember it kicking ass. Hey, Todd. Why the long face? I had trouble in the birth canal. It's a dark and dangerous place. Dudes, how about that prank? Isn't it hilarious? That's not a prank. That's a crime. I just hope they nail whoever did it. I think we should just forget about it, because these hooligans will never be caught. Like Robin Hood, or Syphilis, or football. Yeah, well, I caught syphilis, and I'm gonna catch these guys, too. The dean has ordered a room-to-room -room search for the strappy young man. Here's the only photo we have of him. In the interest of fairness, I'll start by searching my own room. I found you, old man. Oh, wait, that's just a mirror. This is a disaster. We're not gonna be heroes. We're gonna get our asses kicked. Not if nobody finds out. We'll just put the old man back where we found him. The girls' locker room. But we found him in the stable. Dude, do you like boobs or not? Oh my god! My sea monkeys are dead! And the mascot's gone. Hmm. I see where you're going. That old bastard OJ'd my sea monkeys and took off! Oh, man. If Todd finds the mascot before we do, we're dead. We'll be the most hated guys on campus. Even more than that drunk dude who went skinny dipping in the free beer during Oktoberfest? That was your sister. Oh, yeah. That was hilarious. If you were a hundred-year-old man, where would you go? I'd go to one of those World War I reenactments and reenact the crap out of World War I. You're right. All we gotta do is find the nearest World War I reenactment. Who in this dorm seems to know a lot? Ed? That's exactly what I was thinking. Hey, Ed, where's the nearest World War I reenactment? I don't know, but maybe this old timer does. That's him. Where was he? In your room. I went in to borrow some underpants, and there he was. Man, he sure do know a lot. It's smelly inside a whale. <laughs> Ed, can you help us return the mascot before tomorrow's game? This is the strapping young man? Galdern, of course I'll help. I got money on that game. I drink gopher piss out of a cornflower. <laughs> oh, that's just silly. You only find gopher piss in an acorn top. Any news? Well, it looks like they found him. Oh, that's great. 
Except they didn't. It just looked like they found him, but it turned out to be a rock. Damn it, if I don't get that money back, I'm going to jail. Is it that rock by the gym? That does kind of look like an old man. All right, here's the plan. We'll wait until the middle of the night when the coast is completely clear. Then keep waiting until morning when it's really crowded and just hope nobody notices. Or we could do it in the middle of the night when the coast is clear. Well, you better do something. He's getting mighty agitated. Okay, fine. We'll go with Dell's plan. It seems like a lateral move, but we all know what a crybaby he can be. Cool alarm clock. It sounds just like a marching band. Thanks. Let's see if the coast is clear. Somebody lit the moon afire! You set this for 3 p.m. The game's already started. Oh, no! I had tickets to that game! And I'm gonna lose my five bucks thanks to you two dopes! Man, if Ed is mad at us, the whole student body will be, too. He's like a trendsetter. I mean, look at him. How are we gonna sneak him in without getting caught? We'll push him down the hill and hope he rolls into the stadium. Damn! He's too old for gravity! Then he should fly in. Maybe he will, Dell. Maybe he will. Or we could shoot him out of one of those cannons. With seconds remaining, Atherton is once again in scoring position with a lead of 45 to nothing. Lord, I'm not a praying man, but if you let Barter cover the spread, I swear I'll break it off with that fat girl from the lacrosse team. Maybe we should have put him in the other way around. No, dude. You want him to land on his head? This way he'll land on his feet. Do you care nothing for this man's safety? Now cram his shoes in and light this thing. Dang scared! Here's my car. Look me up if you're ever under the 9th Street overpass. Hey, everybody. Guess who shot the strapping young man out of a cannon and saved the game? We did. Oh, right. Like the strapping young man can't fly. Go to hell. Whalen? Linda, how'd you like a ride in the college's new Dean Mobile? I just wanted to try it once myself! They got one of them picture radios back here. Look at Kiki! On the next three south. You want to go to my sorority date party with me? I must be dreaming. Quick! Somebody pinch a loaf! Fine, I'll do it myself. Whoa! I'm not dreaming! KFC Crispy Strips, 100% chicken breast, and floured and freshly prepared in the kitchen. So they're crispy on the outside, tender on the inside. And new at KFC, Hidden Valley Original Ranch.
To step up from chicken strips to crispy strips, you got a KFC What's Cooking. I know what's been troubling you. Listen to me. Only through me can you achieve a power greater than any Jedi. I can feel your anger. It makes you stronger. Rated PG-13. How do you describe a playmaker? How do you describe a playmaker? A guy who's clutch. Who makes the big time plays. In big games, baby. He pulls guys. Knocks guys. Rips guys out of their shoes. Bang, bang. <laughs> Boom! The playmaker makes the catch. Over the middle. He better not come across that middle. <laughs> Enter your seat, to your feet. He gets the stadium to go off. <laughs> yeah, yeah! And the guy that I'm talking about? <laughs> He's an offensive guy. He's a defensive guy. Hey, Ray, talk to me on Monday. What you say, Michael? Offense, baby. Playmaker? He's a tank. Sports car. A semi. He rips it away when it matters. Never, ever coughs it up. He makes the big pass. He bats it away. He makes the big run. Big catch. The big hit. He makes the big kick. What? Kickers will speak when spoken to. Introducing Playmaker Control, only in Madden NFL 2004, the official game of Playmakers. Rated E for everyone. E.A. Sports. It's in the game. Ah, dinner. Huh? You know, it's, the, it's not the most important meal of the day. No. But it's not bad. Right. Do I have potato in my teeth? It's hard to tell where the... Tooth ends and the potato begins. Will you do me a big favor? Yeah. Pass the bucket of gravy over here. This hey, is... hey, Ben, let me ask you something. Have you? Yeah. Remember my that my old woolen sack tape recorder that used to be set up in the living room when you were little? A reel to reel machine. Hmm. I used to record songs in it. Have, you know, have you seen it around? I haven't. I don't even remember it. You're kidding me. No. You What's say, it called? It's, it's a, it's a reel-to-reel tape recorder. Right, I know what those are. Yeah, it's a Walden sack. That's the brand name. You probably lost it. Well, I'm just afraid you that misplaced it's it. buried under a, a ton of stuff in the basement in our locker, you know, in our little area down there. Well, you should go down and check it out. I have this song kicking around in my head, you know, and, and I remember... Oh, Dad. I remember recording a million great songs on that machine, and I was thinking it would be yeah. fun to set up a little home studio here. Dad, that's not a good idea, you know? And... I was thinking that you could actually play the role of my producer in this. Really? Yeah. It's enticing. I mean, if you could write something for uh, for Broadway, you know I'm on board. You have free reign if you can find that machine. Is it going to require a lot of time commitment? Because uh, I have a lot of time. Can I sing one line of it for you? Just one, yeah. Okay. It goes, I'm left out, mm -hmm. but I'm not new. But I'm what? But I'm not new. It sounds like Hebrew a little bit, doesn't it? But I'm not new? That's the one that's been kicking around in your head? Well, you know, it's about this feeling I felt when I started graduate school. Can you change it? You can't change your feeling, Ben. Then just change the line. You're already losing half the audience right out of the gate. See, the, that's what I... Because, th actually, you, anybody, you know, you think, wait, about, wait, think wait, about the... Wait, raise your hand. No, you raise. shut up! Laura? What? Uh, do you have a uh, key to the men's room? No. Oh. Laura? What? Does Dr. Katz have a key to the men's room? No. Oh! What are you doing, you animal? Why don't you use the bathroom like everyone else? Because I didn't know how to get the key? You don't need a key. Oh. Now I remember. Oh, yes, doctor, I'm coming. Didn't you hear him? He said, next patient. Did you hear him? I'm coming, Dr. Katz. Well, we should continue our little conversation at some other time. Perhaps over a nice, uh, delicious beverage. I don't know. I, I saw where this woman was uh, suing McDonald's because uh, she found a, a condom in her Big Mac or something, you know. Okay, she should get some money because that's pretty gross, you know. Mm -hmm. But it's not their fault that she choked on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm eating something and there's a hair in it, I'm going to stop. Right. You know, I'm going to go, ugh, ugh. But she's sitting there just going to town on this thing. Is there, like, pickle in, like, a little packet or something? Hi, Laura. I'm a little early, right? 
Yeah. You know why? Why? I took the bus. This is nuts. Wait, that's not the nutty part. While it was in motion, I talked to the driver. You're not supposed to do that. I know. I took a lot of innocent people down with me. <laughs> not just me I'm self-destructive with. How are things, Fred? Things could be worse. Yeah. That's what people say when they point to me in the street. Um, no, no, people bother me about being thin. They're always going, oh, you're so skinny, I could put my hand around your arm. No, you can't. Why? Because get out of here, you know? Yeah. They tell me I'm thin like I don't know. You know, they go, how much do you weigh? I have to tell them so they can go, oh, God. Do you go to someone who's bald and go, what's the circumference of your head? I, I met this girl, and we went back to my place. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, one thing led to nothing, and, you know, and, and she goes, no sex, we're just going to sleep, we'll be friends. Yeah. What friends do that? I played basketball with my friend the other day and say, what do you want to do now? Let's take a nap together. I wouldn't go looking, digging through your past, Dad, to find... That's... Uh, I'm you know, just saying that's a dangerous thing to do. You, you to, go to, back, you pull out the old tape recorder, you you you, you pretend that you can you can write and record songs. I mean, it's 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 a dream that you shouldn't pursue. I'm well, just saying you, you're going to get hurt by me. You know, I gave the I gave up the dream when your mother became pregnant. What are you trying to say, Dad? I'm saying you ruined my life. <laughs> okay. Ben, are you down there? Ow! I'm here. You okay? Ah, God. Let me toss you down the flashlight. Don't Hang toss on. anything down. Here it comes. comes. Ow! Oh, Jesus, Dad, I'm that's sorry. why, because it's dark here. I should have turned it on first. All right, you got me in the cheek. I think there were some batteries down there for it. Oh, why don't you throw those down now, Dad? The, the thing is that nobody goes down there anymore. Why? It's so great down here. It's nice and moldy. Yeah. And wet. Oh, here's the, uh, hey, Dad, I found the old golf clubs Uncle Joe gave me. We don't have an Uncle Joe. Oh, maybe I'm in the wrong. Yeah, you've strayed. Whoa, 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 Dad. What's that? There's a picture of you in your when you were in the Army. Is this you? You weren't in the Korean War, were you? Dad, I gotta go. I think, uh, but good luck. Dad, don't leave me down here. Stay in touch. Don't shut the... Dad! Don't shut the... Dad! Dad, I'm scared! <laughs> Ben? Dad, how'd you get here? I closed the door behind me. Oh, my God. Am I going to leave my, my only son down there alone? Yeah, I appreciate it. Get Dad. in the trunk. Give me a hug. Okay. Hi, Laura. Hi. I, uh, did I miss the appointment? No. Oh, good, 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 good. No, it's tomorrow. Oh, oh, I, I guess I, I just can't keep my life in order. You know what I mean? Like those bad boys on Geraldo, that the women, you go, why are you with this guy? Do you think I, I'm, I'm gritty? Am I more like a Jeff Bridges or a Nick Nolte? Mm, which one of them is taller? Oh, uh, I don't know, but I didn't shave. That's gritty. Nick Nolte. All right. So I have to make a determination. <laughs> exactly what I'm going to do here. Well, Maybe you, you can steer me in. Well, you know what we could use actually is a cable for the mic. Yeah, I'm not sure. But and also, I could use a music stand yeah. for, to hold the lyrics. And like, I'll get all that stuff. I, I, I got no problem there. It's just that... You know how uncomfortable I am talking to salespeople? They, yeah. I don't want to uh, get in that situation where... Well, because you always li you like to sound like you know what you're talking about, when in fact yeah. they're perfectly glad to talk you through it. Yeah, just don't try to impress anybody. I don't want the guy to talk me into stuff I don't need. Well, let's, let's do a little role-playing here. I'll be the salesperson. Okay. What can I do for you, young man? Um, I need some equipment. One We're setting up a home studio. Oh, you're going to need one of everything, and the latest, I think, is what I'll take need. it. Okay. That worked out okay. Yeah, see, I, I panicked. Yeah. Okay, now let me, be, let me be a different sales guy. Okay. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> what kind of sales guy are you? <laughs> a little sleazy. <laughs> I like this role-playing stuff. Joan Wibb is here to see Dr. Katz. I'm sorry, but you really can't bring that animal in here. Pardon me? This is not an animal. This is my friend. Eleven and a half years. <gasps> this is my friend. Ms. Rivers, it's not the dog we don't want. It's the hairdo. It's cruel. My daughter and I are close, thank God. We're almost like mother and daughter. Very, very close. That's sweet. Get off the couch, Spike. 
The birth was terrible. I was in labor 108 days, and it was just... Well, that, that, was a, that was a long time ago, John. That was 24 years ago. You don't forget. Mm -hmm. You don't forget. A woman, and they always lie to you when you're pregnant. They say, never more beautiful, you're glowing, heartburn. I carried, I carried so big. I, and also, I carried very low, doctor. You mm -hmm. know, that was one of the problems. Melissa's feet were hanging out the last three months. Dr. Katz's office. Laura? Laura? Laura, you there? Yeah. It's Ben. Hi. How are you? Fine, how are you? What's that? What do you want? Say it again. I, I can't really, I can't hear you that well. I'm in the, uh, I'm at the music store and the guys are jamming here. Guys, seriously, keep it down. What? And, uh, so I could go at any time here because I, I might have to sit in. You know, I'll tell you something, the music store, Laura, is fantastic. I mean, the people here, it's like a, it's like a commune. They play it loud, they play it proud. You know, they stop playing. I don't have to keep talking loud. But I will, you know? Laura, you there? I knew nothing. First of all, when they show you the baby, I mean, my daughter Melissa was beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know what it really goes back to? It doesn't even go back to Melissa. It goes further back. It goes back, um, I wasn't wanted. Do you know what that's like to start out that way? My parents didn't want me. They didn't take me out of the hospital till I was nine and a half years old. That's unforgivable. It was just, uh, it was difficult. And you don't forget. You don't forget these hurts. You shouldn't. You shouldn't forget. I don't mean to cry. I'm so Spike. Not now. Dad. What's up, Ben? Dad, I can barely hear you. Bad connection. No, I'm at the music store, and someone's playing the triangle in my ear. Why don't you call me later? Okay, Dad, it's quiet now. What'd you say? I, I said call me later. It's no, it's all right. Okay. I made a list. I'm checking it twice. I got a microphone. Oh, good. And uh, it's, a, it's a great one. We need the microphone. We just don't need the best microphone in the world. Well, I, I don't know if it's the best one. Yeah. I mean, it's the most expensive. Yeah. You come by here a lot, right, Dad? Yeah, every once in a while I get a new accent, you know. Get a what? A new axe. What does that mean? A new uh, guitar. That's... Oh, that's what they call a guitar. That's what musicians refer to their instruments as their axes. Guitar axes. Right. And it's not just in music that this kind of stuff happens. No, there's every every business has its own. Has its own yeah. Yeah. Like lumberjacks mm -hmm. call their uh, instruments axes. Right. My kids are in a private school and I don't know all the schools my kids have been in. It's most of the parents are out of work sitcom actors, you know. You know, it's a very strange place for a kid to grow up. So we're sitting there and they're going, let's do a fundraiser. Mm -hmm. Not because the school needed any more cash. It's because they all wanted to get back on the stage and hit the boards again. You know, they all wanted to perform. Hey, let's do Les Mis. Oh, that would be exciting, Chachi. That's a great idea. So I'm sitting there and they go, Bob, do you have any fundraising ideas? And I said, why don't we sell crack? Hmm. And then, uh, then the PDA bummed out. Uh, and I'm like, hey, not the art kids. Your bill is passed due. Could you pay today? Uh, look, it, I don't have a problem with paying, and I like the idea of paying. Um, and uh, you're looking at me saying I don't have any money. I know that. I don't think you're qualified to judge me, though. I, uh, I have a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Just not on me. Okay. And uh, they don't let me have a checking account anymore. You know, you make one mistake. You go out and buy... 30, 40,000 Chia Pets on an impulse. Suddenly, oh, Bob can't have an account. Bob can't be trusted with credit cards. We just had kittens. Hmm. You know, nothing, nothing could help settle up a payment faster than a delicious kitten. That's disgusting. I didn't mean eat it. I'm just talking about, like, licking it. Ah, oh, shut up. When I was a kid, this was the worst experience. I took a cross-country trip with my mother and father. Right. Severe torture. I mean, the whole trip, my mother's so annoying. I mean, I'm, I'm eating a Hershey bar. She freaks out. She goes, where did you get that? Where did I get it? Like, I'm a junkie. And my connection set me up in Minneapolis. You know, I'm going to be in Seattle in five hours. You got some chunkies? That. Hey, what what, you, what this is just, I've I just been... Uh, you bring your well, machine I've gun? Been, no, I'm bringing my, my guitar to work these days, just because I'm working on a song. Oh, so you're back to songwriting again? 
Well, actually, you know, I never really left it, but I'm just curious what you guys think. Can I hear it? But just it's a work in progress. So, okay. so and, and my, my big fear is that I'm rewriting someone else's melody. Oh, okay, okay. So, uh, we'll, so we'll think about it. Okay. <laughs> no, no, hey, I'm kidding about that. I'm kidding about that. Just change it. But to no, no. Some other okay, way. yeah. No, it's this, this is how it goes. It goes, uh, <clears throat> left out, but I'm not new. This doesn't seem too fair. Yes, you wrote that? Yep. I okay, have chills. I want to start crying. I'm almost done. All right. <laughs> I've got to think this through. Oh, boy. <clears throat> then, then this is a chord that I recently learned from a friend of mine. Oh. That's S pretty. C minor diminished seventh. I like this song. I think it's really good. You have a nice you know, voice. Uh, Paul McCartney once referred to Brian Wilson as a musical genius. Yeah. And that, that same year, Bob Dylan called Smokey Robinson America's greatest living poet. What's your point, Stanley? Uh, that I know stuff. Ben, can you shut the TV off, please? What? I said shut off the TV. You shut up and be free. No, Ben, ben I asked you to shut off the TV. Oh, sorry, Dad. Looks like like we're in a recording yeah, studio. You know, You've got everything here. It's what's incredible is. Do you, I, know how, do you know how to use this stuff? Listen to this, Dad. Okay. I mean, this is this is just one of the the amazing things. Lay it on me. I can talk like a robot. That's danger, great. Danger, danger, danger. Boy, that is. You've got some great stuff. Echo, 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 echo. Lassie, help! I'm in the ravine. Let me hear just a quick note. I just want to okay. get that. Um. This this is the. Let me. I just gotta get a level okay. check. Here. Okay, we should do a scratch track. You know, what what you need track. to do right now, Dad, is not talk until I. Okay. <laughs> until I say talk, because that's okay. gonna screw up my level okay. check. Okay. All right. Yep. Okay. You're so calling me, the shots. Oh, see, there you go again. I'm sorry. Stand. Okay, come on, people, let's go here. All right. And it's just you and me. <laughs> exactly, me and you, baby. Huh? You ready? Yeah. All right. Wink, wink. Here we go. Okay. Four, three, two. One. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I screwed up. Yeah, I don't say two. I did this alone. It's just when you came in here, I, I must. I got nervous. Okay, here we go. This is gonna work. Okay. Are you all right? I'm with you. Do you, you feel okay? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Do you want some tea? Nope, I'm good. Things okay at home? <laughs> yeah, ben, come on. Are you ready to rock, Ben? Hello, Cleveland. All right, let's do this. Okay. okay. Who loves you, baby? Y uh, I do. Look at me. Look you right here. You do. All right. And I'm recording. And five, four, three. Left out, but I'm not new. This doesn't seem too fair. I feel left out. Didn't used to. I've got to think this through. That sucked. So, how do you how do you feel about your mother-in-law? My mother-in-law. Well, I, actually, actually, she's a very nice woman, and uh, I had to have her cremated. And uh, I cannot tell you, I flew all the way over to England because they were English, and I had her cremated. And uh, I was coming back on the plane, and then it hit me. Maybe I should have waited till she was dead. But you know. You know, Doctor, I'm busy, and I had three days off, and I figured, let me do it now. And, you know, and she just wouldn't listen. And I kept saying, Helen, you've always said, Joan, I want to be cremated. Well, I have the time. I spent my own money on the ticket. I'm here. Let's just go through with it. As you get older, this death, the, the body goes. Mm -hmm. and my body, you know, just drops, 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 drops. I mean, I cannot tell you. I wear a bikini. People think I'm in a one-piece bathing suit. It's not pretty, Doctor. No, Joan, you you are an attractive woman. I don't know why you're so hard on well, yourself. Well, that's, uh, you know, Doctor, thank you very much. But 
That's whatever it is, it's due to plastic surgery. I just go in there. I don't even take anesthetic anymore. The only trouble is, you know, sometimes uh, they can pull you too tight. I mean, there a friend of mine, he pulled so... I mean, he just pulled her up. She wears her earrings on her ass. I mean, just... To, you got to be careful. Sure. Got, oh, yeah. My thighs... Oh, I never get in a bathing suit because I get in the bathing suit. I walk around, my thighs go, good for us, good for us, good for us. <laughs> I was on a game show in Australia where I represented the United States, yep. and I felt like I did a pretty good job. I uh, And when I was playing this woman, whenever the host wasn't looking at her or I, I'd slap her buzzer, mm -hmm. you know? And I think her name was like Sophie or something, and the host kept going, Sophie! And she goes, he keeps hitting my buzzer, and I go, oh, I, I do not, you know? If you're gonna lose, just lose. Don't drag me into your nightmare, duh. Bobcat, you know what the music means. What does the music mean? Our time is up. What do you mean our time is up? Do you mean like in a big sense that I'm, I'm worm food? Just because you hear some songs, I'm dead? You're a sick little twisted man. You know what those sirens mean. I'm gonna break you in half with my bare hands. Laura. She won't help you. She's in cahoots with me. I like to bring Seven up to all the popular hangouts, and an awful lot of people like to hang out here. Excuse me, want some Seven Up? It's Seven Up time! Excuse me, I'll just leave it here on the dash. The bubbles must be tickling the nose. What the heck is going on in here? Some Seven Up? Hi. Let's not get greedy. Say, my man. I know you're thirsty. I can't get the top off. Just pop the tab, sir. Hey, I just heard my slogan. Meet Max. Energizer Max. I've got the power! Introducing a new powerful Energizer. Energizer Max. Now with the power inside to keep you going. I've got the power! And then some. Do you have the bunny inside? I've got the power! So bold, it's fierce. I think we're gonna need some more fierce. We're off now, we're flying, and there's no denying we're driving. No sons of bitches, I'm gonna kill them! This way! Woohoo! What a rush! A rush? Are you insane? This is a disaster! In fact, from the second we hit New York, it's been one disaster after another. And that's my fault. Yes! Totally! Hey, Gare, 
Call that guy over there a fat pig, man. <laughs> what? Yeah, it'll be fun, man. If he freaks out, I'll just floor it. <laughs> Think I should? Yeah, man. Remember what we talked about? Trying something new? Go for it, man. It'll be hilarious. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, here we go. Uh, hey, you! Uh, yeah, you're a fat pig! Uh, Outstanding! Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's go. Uh, uh, hey, Gary, uh, why'd you say that about that fine gentleman? It's very funny, Mike. Let's go! Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, this is definitely something new. Wow, New Yorkers are so oversensitive. Why do I do it? Why do I listen to him? Because <laughs> without me, you won't have any fun. <clears throat> all right, all right, I'm sorry. Tell you what, the dogs are on me. Hey, this is pretty good. Best meal in the city, man. <clears throat> oh, man, I don't know why everyone dumped on this city, man. I mean, ragging on about the crime and the rude people and all that. I think New York City rocks, man. Mike, could you please eat with your mouth closed? I'm tired of dodging your food spew. It's disgusting. Do you see this? Sorry, man. We was too busy watching your car get stored. Oh, no, the car! Okay, man. This is a job for New York finest. Okay, one last time, big shot. Why'd you steal the car? I didn't know our car was stolen. Oh, I thought you said you stole the car. Go ahead, boys. Pull your pants back up. Got my nine to the spine and I'm feeling pretty fine. It's all good. It's all good. It's a... I'm about to pull the trigger because I'm a big badass... Mike! Uh, Yo, what up, G-Dog? Number one, you're not a homeboy. Number two, shut up. I'm trying to figure out what we're going to do about the car. Hey, hey, Gary, if the universe wants us to get the car back, it'll happen. You just got to learn to go with the flow, dude. Okay, dude, it brings us to number three. Your zen guy is more annoying than your homeboy. Well, how about nerdy white boy? Oh, where's our car? Uh, I need my inhaler. Oh, stop spinning food on me. Okay, well, what about you with your... Oh, I'm... Uh, forget it. Oh, uh, warmed up for you, kid. She's all yours. <sighs> oh, no, he didn't wash his hands. God, I can't touch that handle. What you doing? Pooping? Well, that took a long time. What'd you do, fall in? We gotta get out of here right now. This place is disgusting. Oh, man, I'm getting so sick of this. Look, I'm gonna go check out some clubs. You do what you want. Psst. Hey, what you doing? Napping before you poop again? Uh, you can't escape it. You can't leave it. You cannot go. These guys suck! <laughs> All right! So where to now, man? Hey, wait, wait, I got an idea. Oh, good. Because I think there's still one blood vessel in my nose that hasn't been broken yet. Let's just go get something to eat. Yeah, we could, but I blew all our cash on strippers. I'm not cheap like you. Come on, Myra. You're gonna make me late for the kids' bar mitzvah. Get off my ass, Lou. Get off it. It's too big to get on it. Hey, where there's a bar mitzvah, there's food. There's no way we're getting away with this. Here, put this on. And remember, the key is to just blend in. Ladies and gentlemen, Weird Al Yankovic! Woo! Weird Al rocks! Have a tequila, have a tequila, have a tequila, Jaime's gonna puke! 
Hey, bag the new stuff, man. Let's hear another one rides the bus. Would you shut up? Hey, do eat it. Can I help you, gentlemen? Oh, yeah, I'll have a gin and juice there, Gramps. Excuse me, but who are you? Uh, friends of the family. And your name is? Saul. Saul? Saul Finkel? That's me. This can't be. Don't go anywhere. I I'll be right back. Don't forget my G and J, my man. There goes a match. You're not gonna believe this, that's so I do not have a good feeling about this, Mike. Great. Chill, booby. Try the kugel. Hey, Al! Girls just want to have lunch! So you're Saul Finkel. I'm Saul. Mm -hmm. Just got out? Just got out. After three years. Three glorious years. I can't believe you have the chutzpah to show your face here after what you did to his dear mother, Nana Shadelstein. May she rest in peace. I'm going to rip your freaking head off. Uh, excuse me, Rabbi. But why on this night do we recline at the table? On all other nights, we... Life by no sons of bitches, I'm gonna kill them! This way! What a rush! A rush? Are you insane? This is a disaster! In fact, from the second we hit New York, it's been one disaster after another. And that's my fault. Yes! Totally! Hey, you know what's incredible? I always catch the crap while you just skate right by! And you wanna know why? You're a crap magnet! A what? A crap magnet, man. It just naturally flows to you. Go to hell, Mike! I don't need you! Yeah, and I don't need you! Oh, really? Maybe we should just split up then. Fine. Fine. Go for it. Okay. I'm really doing this. Great. Good luck. You're the one who's going to need it. Uh, excuse me, sir. I think you dropped your wallet. I did? You my money. Hey, easy there, Bright Eyes. I didn't take anything. I know. I can't believe it. Here. Whoa, 50 bucks. Thanks. Oh, sorry. I bet to give you a hundred. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. I think you dropped your... Help! Thief! Thief! No, no, I just meant to give it back. Murder! Murder! Back. I'm not a murderer. Hey, that's Saul Finkel's friend. Yeah, the guy who helped murder Nana Shadelstein. Not murder! Murder! No! <laughs> Crisis averted. Finally, on my own. No more Mike to drag me down. From here on out, it's all good. Yeah, give me a slice of, uh, pepperoni. Hey, what the? Congratulations! You're our hundred thousandth slice! As much as you can eat, on the house! Yeah, all right! Uh, hello? Listen, Murray, I can't go to that Victoria Scandal runway show. We got one of the kids that off my Nana Shadelstein trapped in the subway. But you go, enjoy. Tickets are under Solomon at the Trump Plaza. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Solomon, we have to give your seats away. Ugh. So you'll have to see the show from the model's dressing area. That is, if female nudity doesn't offend you. Oh, man, can it get any better than this? I can't handle this relationship. I want out. Go then. I'll be fine. Hold me. Just got better. <laughs> I don't want to be alone tonight. And better. Okay, Gary, you're fine. From here on out, it's all good. It's all good. 
it's all good. Don't move! Please don't kill me! I'm Katrina. I just broke up with my long-term boyfriend, and I'm looking for one night of incredible rebound sex. A lot of it. Think you're up to it? Are you kidding? I've been practicing my whole life for this. Oh, no. Is he breathing? Never stop breathing. I just ain't done sucking face yet. <laughs> oh, please, God, no. Ah, pipe down. You sound just like my ex-husband. Who are you? And where am I? You're deep in the bowels of the earth with us. The mole people. Mole people. Neat. Uh, thanks for everything, but I'm gonna get going now. Ugh. Whoopsie. Easy, easy. Here, have some of this. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. You need your strength. You know what happens when you pass out. Hello? Okay. This tastes familiar. Ah, you've had track rabbit, huh? Track rabbit? That there's one that nearly took your face off. <laughs> this is rat? Yep, best meal in the city. Best meal in the city, man. Oh, he's a nice boy, mother. Yeah, well, he looks to me like he could use a tad more sucking. Mm. All right, ladies. Yoo-hoo, three minutes. Oh, no. <laughs> You're our underwear model? Mm -hmm. You're way too buff, too handsome, too hairy. So last season. I just need a concave chested <laughs> schlub who... Yep, oh, this is a life. Good friends, good talk, can of paint solvent. Don't get much better than this. Things could be worse. At least Mike's not here. You know, once you get used to the smell, it's kind of nice down here. Oh yeah, we love it. Ah, uh, upstairs there's too many folks trying to be homeless people. The competition's a bitch. Oh, yeah, I hate all those bag ladies with their fine clothes and fancy ways. Yup. <laughs> Down here, kid, it's real special. My parents were murdered. My sister's a whore. Crawled down this sewer looking for more. Underground, I'm free to roam. This fecal mound I call my home. You got a story, don't you, Billy? My life as a surgeon was nothing but stress. Malpractice lawyers, my life was a mess. I left in a scalpel, my patient, she died. When I was questioned, of course I lied. But down here, everything is easy. Down here, everything is fine. Oh, down here, everything is perfect. As long as I have my crack pipe and wine. Gonna make it going underground. Gonna make it going underground. I split up from my buddy. He was bringing me bad luck. Oh! On my own, I can make it. Who needs that selfish? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Started out accused of murder. Off in Nana Shadelstein. I had to jump out of a subway window, landing flat right on my spleen. Next, I Frenched a filthy stank hag. Her breath, it smelled like rotten cheese. She cooked a rat up and I ate it. How did I end up with this sleaze? Cause you're a mole. Now you're a mole. You're a mole. Mole, 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 mole. Oh, 
no, no, no. Oh, I'm really oh, not more material, oh, but oh, I'm flattered, oh. and I'll make sure and tell everyone how talented you are when I get back up top. You're not telling nobody nothing. Pardon me? You tell one guy about us, then he tells somebody else. And before you know it, they're tearing down your favorite fecal mound to put up another Starbucks. And aren't doing enough. I let him ruin Aspen, but I'll be damned if I let him ruin this place. You're never going upstairs again. You're one of us. One, one of, of us. One of us. One of us. One of us. Oh, Mike, you are so fantastic. Cinder, Lysa, Gina, what's wrong? We broke up with our boyfriends, too. And we need rebound sex. Lots of it. Oh, Mike, can you help? One of us! One of us! One of us! One of us! Oh, my God. It's not Mike, it's me. It's always been me. I am a crap magnet. Oh, my God, Mike! Mike, what should I do? You just gotta learn to go with the flow, dude. One of us! One of us! One of us! Good God! You're not really gonna jump into that dump water, are you? <sighs> night was incredible. We'll always remember our magical evening. I'm off to Milan. Love, Katrina. You found my wheels! Mike Bonner, right? Yeah, that's me. Word got around the city that you cluster buffed a bunch of supermodels and... Well, you're the hero down at the precinct. We found your car, tuned the rep, gave her a full tank. Hey, thanks, Officer Friendly. Hey, kid, so, uh, where you headed to now, huh? Uh, you know, I have absolutely no idea. Wow, that's the life right there. How's it going? Great, Mike. Great. How, how was your night? It was cool. Cool. How was yours? Oh, you don't want to know, Gary. Yes, I do. I'm telling you, you don't want to know. I really want to know. Okay. It... really sucked. Really? Yeah. Everywhere I went, I got completely screwed. I'm sorry to hear it, man. That's a drag. Yeah. So, where are you headed? I, I don't know. I, I really don't have any plans. I mean, what are you going to do? I don't know. I kind of feel bad leaving you out here all alone. Yeah, well, the car, too. We can't really cut it in half. I mean, maybe... <laughs> maybe we should just keep on going. I mean, you know, we could check out Atlantic City or... Oh, uh, yeah. You want to drive? Yeah, sure. Why not? Cool. Hey, hey, you hungry? Star. How about a street dog? Mike, you are not going to believe what's in those. Rat. Rat? You knew? You knew and you let me eat one? You're starting again and we haven't even got it in drive. <sighs> Unbelievable, Mike! You're starting again immediately. So what's next, Mike? Gonna make me eat an alley cat? I know a place around this corner that serves dog. You like collie? Mike, you're one step away from eating trash right out of the can. Hey, man, I'm in for fast food. Hey, you wanna scrape some stuff off the bottom of my shoe and spread it on toast? Well, does it taste like chicken? You're watching Comedy Central. If you thought freshman year was rough, wait till you see it animated. Stick around for undergrads. Coming up next.
Dance Back, along with four other arcade classics, including Galaga, Pole Position, and more. Just plug it and play it. An entire arcade inside one joystick. Rated E for everyone. Batteries not included. TV games from Jack Specific. Products sold separately. Your turn, Jimmy. Look at the brown fish. No, Jimmy. You need the passion again. Again, again, come on. The flaky fish. Unbelievable. Listen, Jimmy, listen to me. The succulent, flaky white fish strips. Each bite brings you closer to the joy you never thought possible again. The six piece crunchy fish strip combo is only $2.99. Now give it to me. The. I. I. Uh, <coughs> Long John Silvers, how could you resist? Trip to the city of your choice for eight free. Come along, boys. Shopping free. Right, just a few more blocks. Entertainment free. No cats in this one, right? I don't think so. Time with people who make you feel warm and fuzzy. Priceless. Let's go. Drive fast. Use your MasterCard and you could win a getaway with people you're closest to in our priceless memory sweepstakes. Seven, Dame Fortune, she's a cruel mistress. Let's see, this is your piece, I do believe, and you must move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces, which lands you smack dab in the middle of my rainforest logging company. Which brings the grand total you now owe me to $164,552.17. What the heck? Let's round it up to an even 200. What's that you say? I couldn't pay that back if we played 100 games? Oh, my goodness, what to do, what to do? Wait a minute! A simple X on the dotted line, changing a few irrelevant clauses in your will, dealing with... Oh, Duckman, you weren't trying to worm your way back into that will, were you? My Bernice, I'm appalled. Good, because I've been given power of attorney, and any effective plan to do so would have to begin with my sudden and untimely death. <laughs> mm -hmm. Where did I put that flak jacket? You want to see our project for the corporate theme science fair? Our master of cigarettes, vein burster beer, and Splatco handguns are sponsoring a category called alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. Other things kill people, too. Hence the Titanic. 1,503 non-smoking, non-drinking, non-gunshot deaths. I thought this kind of blood-sucking corporate greed and hypocrisy makes you boys sick. True, but there's a cash prize. Hmm. I'm going. Maybe I should just get a sitter and you can come with me. What? You're inviting me to have an evening out at the movies with you and your friends? No, I'm inviting you to circle my car around the block for two hours. Parking's miserable at that theater. Oh, too late. They're here. Make sure the kids eat a balanced dinner, Duckman. Don't just order them some fat and cholesterol-soaked pizza, then fall asleep on the couch watching the String Bikini Volleyball Channel, allowing the three of them to have the run of this place like some masked terrorist in a Middle Eastern city. You worry too much, Bernice! Just my bikini top. <laughs> I'm just saying the more deaths, the better chance we have in first place. If we call this a Lusitania instead of the Titanic, our chances of winning are increased tenfold. A fallacious assumption, since the Titanic had a far greater death toll. Lusitania! Titanic! Lusitania! <laughs> 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 What, Bernice back already? No, Dad, it's Mumbo. I suggest you call 911 unless you want me to spend the rest of my life attached to a gangrenous lump of flesh. Ah! Hello, female fantasy hotline. <laughs> Must have hit redial by mistake. Hello, 911. This is gonna sound really far-fetched, but somehow the Titanic has become lodged in my son's throat. Don't worry, sir. Just stay calm and we'll save your son. Uh... 
paper clips, ping pong balls, Quincy scripts, Pekingese dogs, RuPaul ships. Andrea Doria, Lollipop, Minnow, Poseidon. Here we are, Titanic. Can you get a hold of some ice? Ice, got it, now what? Pour the ice into his throat, making sure to hit the starboard bow of the hull below the waterline. Iceberg, get ahead! It worked. He's okay. I'm so glad. Listen, before you go, I, I I have to tell you, you you have a beautiful voice. It's well, I sort of talk to a lot of women on the phone, but I I've never heard a voice like yours. Thank you. Actually, you have a very nice voice yourself, and you seem to be a wonderful father. Well, goodbye. I just talked to an angel. Uh. An angel, Cornfed. One phone call and I was swept away. She is everything I ever hoped for in a woman. Low standards. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. It was incredible, Corny. The way she made me feel things as I listened to her. Hey, excuse me, if this is gonna get sorted. Emotions, okay? I found emotions. The kind I never feel anymore. And it's all because of a voice. That sweet, willowy reed of a voice. I want to do things with her, Corny. Fun things, exciting things. I want to paint her living room. I want to go to the tar pits. I want to surf. So are you going to spend the rest of your life waxing your own board, or are you going to call her back? I tried. Her supervisor won't give me her name. Some lame excuse about a serial killer who's been following 911 operators home and chopping them into thousands of little pieces. One more overly cautious reactionary in a position of authority. Exactly. I gotta find her. I gotta figure out some way of tracking her down. If only we knew someone who was an expert at that kind of thing. Duckman, take a look at the sign on the door. Did we get evicted again? <laughs> You're incorrigible, you big downy galoot. I mean the sign that says private investigator. If you want to track her down, why not use your detective skills? Don't toy with me, Cornfed. Why the hell would I want to rely on those? Touche. Too bad it's against the law to make dozens of 911 calls till you find her if you're not actually reporting a real emergency. Hmm. Fluffy! Uranus! What can we do for you, Mr. Duckman? An impersonation. Of what? Drowning victims! <laughs> My sons fell in the pool. They're going under. Okay, stay calm. Is there a rope you can throw them? Do you have a cold? No. Forget it. They gotta learn to swim sometime. Love American style. Do it in the red, white, and blue. So what if I quit? Light it! There's nothing to lose. My angel is lost to me. Hi, Dodd. What you doing? Throwing my life away on an overpriced marketing phenomena that'll leave me bedridden, tumorous, and politically incorrect. Oh. Wish I had a hobby. Ah! Hello? Yeah, he's here. Dodd. It's someone named Angela. Angela? I don't know any Angelas. She sounds like a rather young, angelic woman. If her willowy read of a voice is any indication. <gasps> what? Hello? Hello, Mr. Duckman. This is Angela from the emergency hotline. Angela. I'm sorry to bother you. I was wondering how your son was doing. Son? I have a son? Dude, oh, um... Mambo. Fine, fine. <laughs> Small bit of discomfort in the little boy's room this morning, passing that smokestack. <laughs> Otherwise, ship shape. I, uh, I can't thank you enough for all your help. You did most of it yourself. You know, a lot of people don't keep their heads in an emergency. Oh, it was your voice. It made me feel like, well, like everything would be okay. Well, the reason I called is I'm new here, and, and your son's was the first life I've ever helped save. I just wanted to follow up. I never want to forget there are real people on the other end of the phone. Wow. What? Uh, nothing, nothing. I was just, uh... <laughs> glancing down at my bicep. <laughs> at the risk of sounding like a hmm, pimple-faced schoolboy, I was wondering... Uh, I'm, <laughs> sorry, I'm just not very good at this. I, I was wondering if, well, you'd, you'd like to have dinner with me tonight. Dinner? You only have to buy your half. Just think of it as a way to say thanks for saving my son's life. Well, you, you sound nice. 
Okay, I'll do it. You will? There's a little Japanese restaurant on 3rd Street. Do you know it? Yeah, I, I think so. Just down from Vic's Flesh Pot and G-String and... I'll, I'll, I'll find it. I'll, I'll find it. Shall we say, uh, half an hour? Half an hour it is. She said yes! This little ducky has a date! Oh, happy day! Kaloo, Kalei! I'm going out with Angela! A scooby dooby doo then you would be with me. You looking for an Angela? All my life. could be that ugly. Maybe I just caught a bad angle. You've got to look beneath the surface. That's true. 60% of all toilet problems occur beneath the surface of the tank. All right, I'm gonna do this. Look past the obvious. Have the common decency to sit down and appreciate her for who she really is. Are you Duckman? I'm a sucker for ambiance. Hey, I can't see. We fix in minute. Have to serve while still fresh. Ah, you cut off my finger! So, Angela, could I buy you a face? A drink? Uh, white wine would be nice. White wine on the way. Ouch. Oops, sorry. Ah. Ouch. Sorry. Ah. Bartender, I'll have a white wine and something to put me out of my misery in case these lights come back on. Thanks. Oops, sorry. Ouch. Sorry. Ah. Here you go. White wine. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, this tastes like Drano. Oh, that's mine. So, do I look at all like you expected? <laughs> Sorry, they uh, <laughs> forgot the lemon wedge. That's the first time someone else's drink went to my head. <laughs> <laughs> my ear! That's my ear! You look a lot like I pictured. Someone who walks into a room and commands attention. You, uh, you don't say. Well, I'm the only living heir to the throne of Sweden. I hold the world record in the mild, and I just got a medal for taking a bullet meant for the president. <laughs> Actually, that's not all true. What part? None of it. I always kind of take a small truth and then embellish it into, well, a huge lie. I don't know why I did that. I've never admitted that to anyone before. Would it be forward of me to hold your hand? Not at all. <laughs> It's a little larger than I would have expected. My hand's over here. Then whose hand is this? Mine! Throw it back, will ya? <laughs> oh! Ah, where was I? <laughs> oh, yeah, I was uh, just about to tell you. I I didn't know what to expect tonight, but I'm enjoying it. You uh, wouldn't happen to be doing anything tomorrow night. You're dating an ugly woman, aren't you? How'd you know? I've fished out of that pond a few times myself. Dinners in the basement, twofers at the planetarium, weekends in the dark room developing the pictures you took in the basement in the planetarium. I know this sounds corny, corny, but Angela brings out the best in me. You know what I mean? Not exactly, no. Well, we've been dating for three weeks now, and I... I don't belch around her. I don't scratch hard-to-reach body crevices. I don't tell incredibly tasteless jokes. Except for the ones about hermaphrodites. I love those. I think I'm in love! Dear Diary, today I heard Duckman utter the L word. There is, of course, one small hitch. She's hideous! She's got a face that would scatter a leper colony! You gotta look at her through a box with a little hole in it! Come on, Duckman. She may be a little short or a little tall, but you can find a good feature in everyone. Oh, yeah? Find a good feature in this! <laughs> nice photo finishing. He's dating an ug... a uh, woman who's facially challenged. Shame on you, Mr. Cornfed! All of God's creatures are beautiful! You see? Even they think so! The woman shatters mirrors! But there must be more to her than her looks. Oh, sure. She's smart, sensitive, cheerful, thought-provoking, and loaded with empathy and insight. 
But how long can that stay interesting? Duckman, you obviously have strong feelings for her. You should face your fears. Take her out on a real date. Dancing, romantic music, soft lights. How soft? They'd be on. Forget it. What if I came with you? I'll rustle up a filly of my own and we'll prove to you that you don't have to be ashamed to be seen with her. Okay, Corny. You're right. Let's do it. <laughs> yes, uh, table for four, please. <laughs> well, I guess it's seat yourself. Oh. this table <laughs> probably carpooling corny I want to dance the band is on a break Trudy guess we can mime your partner seems nice I hope he likes me how could he not like you you're sweet you're funny you're uh... Did I mention sweet and funny? Oh! Maybe we should dance. Ah! Oh, I feel like we're all alone out here. Yeah, me too. Duckman, thank you for tonight. for the lovely lady? Whoa, or maybe a cube of sugar, huh? Nobody insults my girlfriend! <gasps> Wait a minute, where are you going? Duckman, I've had a lot of years to get used to the fact that I was born with colorful features, but you haven't. I hate to see the look on your face when you see the looks on everyone else's, and I think it's time I did something about it. If it doesn't work, you'll never have to see me again. I need an opinion. How's my... Hello. Uh, what's the occasion for this old factory outrage, Dad? It so happens I have a date and she'll be here any minute. Oh, what does she look like? Must you be so shallow as to focus on looks? Like society, some kind of pageant, and we're all judged on a meaningless detail like appearance. Gargoyle. Okay, she's the bell ringer at Notre Dame. I don't care. She's mine and I love her, no matter what she looks like. Truth is, I don't know what she looks like. I haven't seen her in a week. I called and called until she finally admitted she was getting a complete makeover. With a little luck, she went from hideous to butt ugly. Look, lady, whatever you're selling, I'll take 200 of them. I don't care what they cost. Duckman, it's me, Angela. Angela? I mean, who else could it be? My love! Come in, come in. This is uh, Bernice, Charles, and Merengue. Mambo. You, whatever. Dad, you said she'd be but ugly. Anything but ugly, son. <laughs> Can't leave out such a key word. It's a pleasure to finally meet all of you. Except, where's Ajax? When he heard his father had a date, he ran up to his room. He's a bit sensitive about replacing his mother since she died. Mama. He seems to be coming around. How about you, Duckman? What do you think? It isn't much. All they did was give me a hair weave, a dye job, contacts, change my wardrobe, sand my face down, buff it out, and plaster it over with 15 gallons of foundation. Ha! Huh. And here I thought it was the new shoes. Come on, Angela, I'll get you a drink, then we can talk about that childhood incident that left you so traumatized you think Duckman's a catch. <laughs> I did it! I finally did it! I found someone who's got it all! Who I could really fall for! And who actually wants to be with me! Good thing, too! Any other woman with those looks and that charm would drop you in a heartbeat for someone smarter, better looking, and more successful. Holy guacamole. Nice to see you again, Cornfed. Angela. You betcha! I finally found a woman I could love and respect! Look, her eyes point in the same direction. <laughs> oh, hi, Mr. Duckman! We're sorry about our superficial reaction to Angela's picture last... Hurry, you neutered muppets! Oh, duck man, they're so cute. And we're not really neutered. <laughs> Where'd 
Richard groveling. You got real work to do. I need you to mail Angela's picture to all the girls who wouldn't date me in high school. You're funny, Duckman. And generous, too. I got you a gifty poo. Duckman, I love it. And not cheap, either. It's real 50-50. Put it on, and I'll wear mine. <laughs> It's okay. You have to expect that sort of thing from construction workers. Ow! Baby! Ow, 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 ow. Ow! She's the one. Table for two? Let's sit at the same table. I want tonight to feel just like our first night here did. We'll dance and we'll feel alone again. Just you and me. It's Angela, our woman of the hour. Angela, where hundreds of people you've never met and couldn't care less about have gathered to tell you they love you. So, let's sit you down and let the fawning begin. There you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. I was hoping we could dance the last dance together. Yeah, well, I came out here to think about things. You and me. And I'm thinking maybe tonight was our last dance. What? You've got plenty of people who can give you more than I can now. The simple truth is I'm not good enough for you anymore. I can't compete with the whole rest of the world. It's only a matter of time before you find something better and leave me, so why don't we save us both the wait and just say goodbye now? Duckman, you're wrong. None of these other people mean a thing to me. I did what I did because of you. Because I was falling in love with you. I'm not gonna leave you. Maybe this isn't the time. Can we meet tomorrow night? You'll feel better then. Maybe at the Japanese restaurant where we first saw each other? I'll be there at eight. Duckman, it's 10 o'clock. Weren't you going to meet Angela at eight? I changed my mind. I'm not going. What did you do to her? Nothing. I, I did something for her. She's got a chance at a new life. She shouldn't settle for me. I wouldn't let her live. I'd spend the rest of our lives holding her back because I was afraid of losing her. I'm sorry, Duck Man. Let it ring. Here we are, boy, Bullworth Academy. Have fun, Jimmy. Hopkins, you're quite the nastiest little boy I've ever encountered. Okay, I'm frightened. And I've got a weak bladder. Hey, Aggie. You can clean my shoes. This school is filled with wild beasts. You want me to steal your stuff back from a bloodthirsty mob of angry greaseballs? <laughs> Get used to it, kid. You're a man. No, no, no! I always knew I was a born leader, Ernest. <laughs> I can do anything I like in this place. 
anything at all. This place is full of bullies and maniacs. Nonsense! That's just school spirit. Come here. You're a degenerate! The fake guy trusted you! You're a pig! You ruined my life! Bullworth is a microcosm for the whole world. I like you, Jimmy Hopkins, but I need you to do something Go for away, me. Jimmy! And boy, that nose of yours? Keep it clean. Welcome to Bullworth! <laughs> this product is not yet rated. Grandma! What big ears you have! Why, all the better to get showtimes and tickets when I call Movie Phone, my dear! Hello, and welcome to AOL Movie Phone! Grandma, what big chunky fingers you have! Why, all the better to click with when I want reviews, showtimes, or tickets from MoviePhone.com, my dear! Grandma, what a big... Oh, look, honey, do you want to go to the movies or don't you? Visit MoviePhone.com or America Online Keyword Movie Phone! Hi, how are you good kids? I'm Ken Flick. And how are all the bad kids doing today? I'm Adoya Menekaneko. How are those entrance exams going? How's everyone doing at Yazoo City's Fishery Association? How are all you illegal immigrants doing? Those of you who are virgins, are you exuding energy and hormones? <laughs> Thank you for always watching Milk Chan. Milk Chan says she loves everyone's encouragement the most. And the president said he can work hard thanks to you. By the way, Kent. Yes? I think everyone in front of their TVs might be wondering why you and I are here greeting them. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot about that. Oh, you're so absent-minded, Kent. Oh, I think I forgot to pay when I just had lunch. Oh, oh. you're so absent-minded, Oh, I think Kent. I forgot to wipe my ass when I went to poop. Oh, you're so absent-minded, Kent. Hey, you keep saying I'm absent. Mind you, don't discriminate against me just because I'm a foreigner. I'm not discriminating. Uh, the reason the two of us are greeting you is none other than because we will be doing various sound effects coming up in Milk Chan now. Yes, that's, that's right. right. Yes. We will express all the sounds in the story using only our own voices. Mm, I'm a little worried about how it'll go, but if we have all of you cheering us on, I think our desire to rise to the challenge will see us through. Yes, we'll do our best. We're, We're counting, counting on, on you. you. <laughs> Super Milk Chan Story of the Virtual Sound System. Huh? Tetsuko, did you just hear that sound? Something went pop, didn't it? Oh, right. She laid an egg. We can have some omelets. <laughs> Chicken, you want to go at it? What are you going to do? I'm scared. You dumbass. Don't you want to eat omelets? Yeah, but how about you go get the egg milk? Hey, Chicken, this piece of junk said she'd turn you into a shish kebab. What are you saying, Milk? Stop it. Come on, both of you show each other what you've got. <laughs> Wait a while longer. Mama will be coming home very soon. Ma, where did Mama go? Where the hell is she? I mean, really, at this time of the day? I'm home. Hey, do you know what time of day it is? <gasps> You're drunk, aren't you? Yes, I've had some drinks. You have a problem with that? You didn't even get dinner ready. Do you have any idea of what you are doing? Mama... I'm hungry. I'm so sorry. I'll make you anything you want today, my little baby. 
What? Really? Then I want teriyaki caterpillar hamburger. All right. You really like teriyaki hamburgers, don't you? Hey, bitch! Are you listening to me? Did you say bitch? You be quiet. Bitch! Are you talking back to me? <sighs> teriyaki hamburger. Oh, Ario, don't you hate it when he shouts so much? You always treat our children like <laughs> teriyaki. Hey, Milk, how could you do that? That was mean. Forget about that. We got lots. We got lots. What do you mean, lots? That chicken laid a really huge egg. Let's go look. Oh my God! It must have been a really hard labor. All right. Let's make lots of omelets with this hard labor egg. Yay! Hey. Go turn the gas burner on. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Now I'm going to fry it. Ah, oh my goodness gracious! It's starting to smell good. So if you don't hurry, you won't make it. There's no time to waste, Hideki. <laughs> Saved by the landlord's craze over Momotaro Samurai. Yeah, Kanchi, where have you gone? It's already been a week since you disappeared. I couldn't sleep awake all week because I'm worried about you. <gasps> Looking at your picture like this, our happy, memorable memories come back to me like in a kaleidoscope of our history. That summer day by the ocean. <laughs> Wait up, Kanchi! I've got you now, Kanchi. Come to think of it, we rode a horse together as well. <coughs> Kanchi, hang on tight. <coughs> Here we go. <coughs> The two of us even went to war together as well. <coughs> If you're afraid of a tank, are you having fun, Kanji? I see you are having fun. Woohoo! I'm having fun too. Kanji, I'm so happy just by being with you. Kanji. 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 Kanji, let's have sex. Kanji, where have you gone? Video essay: Butter sautéed mushrooms by Akiko Matake. Bring your friends and gather at the harbor at 4 a.m. I might not look it, but I'm Akiko, the third president of Yokosuka Ladies Climax. I won't run or hide from you, so you better come prepared too. 
There's nothing halfway about Akiko. I'll make sure to give you a one-way ticket to hell. Delicious! Delicious! Oh, really? I'm so glad! Oh, it's Barzo. Early this morning, a man who was cross-dressed in a sailor school uniform was caught on the charge of sexual harassment. In response to police questioning, he has supposedly said some nonsensical things, such as, A girl touching doesn't count as sexual harassment. How wonderful! How many times does he need to be arrested before he'll learn? Our next piece of news. Last night, someone stole a Rex egg from the Jurassic Park. Those in connection have been searching, but it has yet to be found. If you find it, they ask that you report this to either the police or the Jurassic Park. Oh, oh my gosh! That egg is this omelet! No! What was it doing in the nest of our chicken? What'll we do? I've eaten that cute little Rex egg! I'll never forgive myself! Now, what are you going to do about it, Tetsuko? Say what? Are you saying that it's my fault? Oh, telephone. Yes, hello. This is Kitano Chanel. Just kidding. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, it's me, Milk. Oh, Mr. President. Uh, that's right. I am definitely the president. May I help you with something? Yes, someone stole a rare Tyrannosaurus Rex egg from the Jurassic Park last night. <laughs> Probably a practical joke, but it'll be bad if they put it in some chicken's nest and then if some idiot eats it. What do you mean, idiot? Well, well, well whatever is the matter, Milton? Oh, nothing. Anyway, what's wrong, Mr. President? You don't sound very cheerful today. R really? Actually, yes. Unfortunately, your president is deathly unhappy right now. Did something happen? Actually, my beloved Kanji went missing. Kanji? That's right. It's my darling little cat. It's already been a whole entire week since she's been missing. Kanji's spoiled, so I'm sure she's having trouble finding food. When I think of that fact... <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't cry so hard anymore. I understand. I'll find Kanchi for you at the same time we look for the Rex egg. R really, Milchan? Just leave it to me. Thank you, Milchan. I'm so very grateful to you. So don't cry anymore, okay, Mr. President? Yes, you're right. Exactly right. Go dance or something and stay cheerful. Take your mind off it. Okay, then. The president won't cry anymore. Well, then, Milk Chan, I'll leave Kanchi in your capable hands. Roger. Roger. All right, Tetsuko. We're going to go look for the president's cat. The president's cat? What about the egg? You dumbass! We just ate the egg. What's eaten is eaten, Tetsuko. Anyway, let's go to the King's Idea Laboratory. Let's get on the helicopter. The King's Idea Laboratory? That's where my daddy is! How dreamy! Hello from the world of TV. I'm the director of the King's Idea Laboratory, Dr. Eyepatch. Yo, doctor. Yo, you're always so energetic, Milk Chan. Something stinks. So, Tetsuka, it is you that's stinking like raw garbage. That's so mean. Please, may he not be my daddy. By the way, Milk Chan, how may I help you today? You see... You see, I want a machine that'll find the president's cat. <laughs> I see. The president's cat is missing. That is terrible. Then I will get RoboDog 1 ready for you. What? RoboDog again? Milk wants an anywhere door. Don't, Milk Chan. Talking like that shows you read too much comics. <laughs> well then, Milk Chan, and I wish you luck.
Mister, you hit your wife, didn't you? You look good. Ho, 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 ah, yeah. ho, 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 ho. I'm get trying to dance to a happy it. dance like Milk Chan told me to, but I still can't get it off my mind. In the end, I'm no good without Kanji. Milk Chan, please find her soon. my mind off it even if I do my favorite rap. Kanji! Let's have sex! Video essay, Better Sautéed Mushrooms by Akiko Matake. I'm a bad girl. I told you that I'm sorry I couldn't love you, and then I went and did a thing like that. When you've told me that you really love me, at this rate, it's like I'm leading you on. Bad girl, bad girl. Akiko is a bad girl. It isn't fair to you. You want to go to bed with me, but you're holding back. But I... Bad girl, bad girl. Akiko is a bad girl. May tomorrow be sunny. Oh, elephants! Can cats really live in a place like this? You guys, I'm really starting to get tired of this. I don't smell kanji scent at all! Listen, according to Tetsco's special internet... That junking mecha again! Woof. What did you say? You shut up, you stupid dog! You dumbass! This isn't the time for arguing, so what is it, Tetsco? Well, my search on the internet told me that there's a place called Meow Meow World. Meow Meow World? That's right. It's apparently a world where there's only cats. If we go check it out, Kanchi just might be there. All right. I don't care anymore. Let's go there. Color feeling. You know, the arc is so good. Oh, pardon my sudden intrusion once again. I am the idol of mature women, Hanage. Well, I act young like that, but I'll be 40 this year. 40? I finally found white hair down there and was shocked. But, you know, that doesn't really matter. Man, I've really grown old. Maybe I'll settle down. I don't have those thoughts at all. No, oh, the loner Hanage is going to the millennium year real easy. Wow, 
careful. There's cats everywhere. If we look hard enough, we might find Conchi here. Well, Robo Dog, how about it? Hey! Conchi's this way! Woof! Oh, right. Let's hurry. Woof, woof, woof! That's her! Woof! Are you Conchi? Meow. We've come all this way looking for you at the request of the president. Meow. So why did you run away from the president? Meow. How can you say that? The president was worried you wouldn't be able to find food. Meow. Subsidized dating? You idiot! I won't let you get away with it! Can't you listen? I have a letter from the president. I'll read it to you, so listen carefully, okay? Kanchi, where in the world have you gone? President is the so worried. The president is so worried I, I cannot sleep. When I'm alone and I close my eyes like this, memorable memories come floating into my head one after another. The day I found you in a cardboard box in the rain when you were still a kitten. When you got a fever, the president didn't know what to do. I just got naked and warmed you all night long. I fell asleep after that. And when I awoke to find you licking my face, wanting milk, I was so happy and so exasperated. I cried my eyes out. Anyway, I have just too many happy memories. And because of that, parting with you is even harder for me. I can't imagine a life without you. If there's something you don't like about me, please tell me. It might take time, but I'll fix those things for sure. Anyway, I want to see you, even if it's for one more last time. I'll always be waiting for you. To my dearest Kanchi, love, President. Well, do you see how the President feels? Then you'll stop this idiocy and go back to the president? I'm glad. I'm so moved. If you go on a subsidized date again, I'll give you a red card. All right. Our mission is complete. Let's go eat sushi or something. Yay! Yay!
You'll need some cash. You'll need some monster cash. Some monster cash. For your graveyard bag. Some monster cash. You'll get a bunch in a flash. Some monster cash. You need some monster cash. Come into Money Tree and get a payday loan in just minutes. Plus, Money Tree cashes all types of checks. And money orders are always free with every payday loan or check cashing transaction. Money Tree, your cash solution. E.T.'s back, and you can see him for free. When you buy Reese's candy, you can get free movie tickets. See in-store displays for details. Good. Funny little cute singing Judas. Man, let me tell you, that song of yours was a hoot. I hate you, Jesus. Reverend, don't. I don't think that song should have ever become so popular. What do you mean? It's hilarious. I hate you, Jesus, you rotten little fink, your sermon. Uh oh. Golly, do you think God's mad, Reverend? Yeah, uh, mad? Well, uh, let's see. The signs would be, uh, you know, fire, plague, oils. Say, I think I'll go and paint the lawn. The dead rising up, and locusts. Oh, hi, you little cricket. Everybody back in! Come on, show's not over, folks! Back in, back in, back in! God's wrath has warned us. Yeah, but come on, all that stuff happened before that song. You think God can't see into the future? He can see weeks into the future, bub. And with lyrics like that, you think he's just gonna sit around picking his nose till we get around to singing it? I'd like to take that stupid beard and rip it off your face? Prancing gaily on the water, along its brawny cloud. Oh! Do you want to turn all our water into blood? Is that what you want? Holy potatoes! And all this is the fault of just one lone person. Um, Oral, can you excuse us for a moment while we talk? You and everybody? Yeah, don't worry, it's not about you. Oh, okay. Well, see you next Sunday. You're going nowhere. Right. Okay, so it's obvious that a certain little guy is getting a tad out of hand lately. Amen. Mom! And I feel that there has to be a point where the head of the household accepts responsibility for his child's actions. Wait a minute. You're asking me to take responsibility for what Oral does? I know it's a tall order. 90% of the time, I'm not even responsible for my own action. What if you quit drinking? Yeah, what if? Look, we've all given Oral guidance over the years. It is my considered opinion that the child may have been... Misled. What? I don't think so. He ain't my kid. Guys, wait. It sounds weird, but maybe Dr. Potter's wheel's right. What if we don't know what we're talking about? <laughs> From now on, we may have to start putting some actual thought into the way we coach him. Um, by coach, you mean teach, right? Yes. Gumdrops. See you later, crocodile. I guess I can go too. Wait, you are a teacher. I teach school, which has nothing to do with life, so don't pin this on me. Or me, me neither. Come on, everyone back. No one leaves. 
people. The point is we can't just say anything to shut the kid up anymore. So you're saying we just need to avoid oral? Yes, avoid him, or at least try not to give him any guidance. Him you can't avoid. That little shagaz is a verklumped question machine. I'm his father. A boy needs his... We were all just singing, in God's house, how much we hate Jesus. All because oral got some bad advice. Sounds like we're damned if we do and we're damned if we don't. Damned is right. The next person that inadvertently sends Oral Puppington down the wrong path could be responsible for damning all our souls. Dad! I need some advice. Dad? Huh, Dorney Doiling. Dad, you here? Uh, I need to know how to make amends with God about that song. Dad? Huh, still warm. Hmm. Uh, I wonder who I should talk to now. Hardy. Say, that sounded like, of course, Reverend Putty. Thanks, Mr. Creaky. You're welcome. We good? Reverend Putty? Oral. Hi, what's up? You look good, you look good. Everything's good. Uh, thanks. Reverend, I just feel terrible about making that awful song so popular. What can I do to make it up to God? N nothing. God knows you've done enough. Just. Don't do anything and sit still, will you? Really still? No, not really still. That, that that would be too still. No, you know, be normal. Huh, normal. Oral, wipe that look off your face. You don't need to do anything special to be normal. Oh, I get it. I could just be myself. No, 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 no. Don't do that either. Don't be normal. Sorry, I, I used the wrong words. <laughs> Come on, buddy, grab a hold of yourself. Okay, um, can't you just forget about all this? Well, I guess I can forget about it if I really try. Don't try! Please, God, don't try doing anything. Oh, Reverend, I'm getting confused. Yeah, me too, buddy. Uh, what I'm saying, Oral, is that you're just a kid. God understands. You're innocent. Just don't sweat. I'm it. innocent? Yeah, just be a kid. As long as you're that and you don't worry about doing good, you'll be fine. Uh, I don't know. You don't know, huh? Uh, uh, oh, um, well, go to someone else. That's a good idea. Yeah, someone else who really knows. Who could that be? Uh, your teacher? Miss Sculptum? Sure, yeah, her. Yeah, oh, she's so wise. Okay. Thanks, Reverend. That was a lot of help. Wait, no, wait! Oral, come back! I didn't help! I didn't do anything! Always remember that! Nothing! You can't blame me! Ah! Hi, Miss Sculptum. <coughs> I'm glad I caught you working late. Oral, you're a straight-A student. What more could you possibly want from me? Well, Reverend Putty said that children are always innocent, no matter what they do. Putty said that? Yes. And he takes responsibility for it? Well, I don't know. He said I should just see you, though. Oh, he did, huh? Terrific. Okay, look. Yes, everyone's innocent until they reach the seductively dangerous age of 18 or over. That's why the Children's Crusade was such a huge success. The Children's Crusade? Yes, Oral. When the Crusades weren't going so well, we Christians sent our kids out to fight the heathens because children are innocent and pure and would be able to kill everyone with God's blessing. And it really worked? Of course it probably worked. How dare you question things when I don't? Look, Oral, if you want to interrogate someone about faith, go see the Christines. The Jews for Jesus? Yeah. Their old abandoned religion was especially built on the rickety foundation of discussion. Whoa! Thanks for the advice! No, that wasn't advice. You wandered in on a private colloquy I was having with myself. You little eavesdropper. Oh, okay! Colloquy. Look it up. Not Jesus. Not Jesus? Mm, not, not Jesus. Mazotop! Mr. Craig. Lads, who is it? Oral Puppington. Quick, everyone into the attic. Why, what are we, a bunch of cowardly schmendricks like Judas? You're right. Oral, come in. How about a nosh? We got shellfish, pig, cheesy meat, meaty cheese, and Jesus-shaped matzahs. Oh, Jesus-shaped. What? 
What, what, what can I do for you? Mr. Christine, I'm afraid God's mad at me. Mad at you? Gavolt. Uh, Sharon, get the blood. Blood? You bet. Nothing like the blood of the innocent to keep away pesky plagues. Oh, it keeps pass away? That and the wrath of God, which is handy. There. Now the good Lord realizes we're innocent. He does? Mm-hmm. Can I borrow some of that? No, no, only enough for me. Well, nice to have this little kibbit, Sorrel. But... Look, go home. But I don't have any blood there. Oy, this was a lot easier when there was no hell. Gee, I need to find some innocent blood somewhere. Hot dog! Rats. Oh, howdy, coach. Be right with you, Oral. Okay, now, where were we? Uh, I just said howdy. Right. Well, since I ran into you, maybe I can ask you something. You can flap your gums until it's drained. What's drained? Oh, that! Um, well, I found out from Reverend Putty that all kids are innocent, and then Miss Goldman told me that they can go out and win wars and kill because of it. Mm, go on. And then Mr. Christine said that you could be extra innocent in the eyes of God if you slather the blood of the innocent on your front stoop. Well, that seems like a waste of virgin blood. What do you mean? Well, if you bathe in virgin blood instead of painting your house with it, you stay young. You do? Of course. You need to read more gothic erotica. Uh, uh, okay. But, so that means that... That if I bathe in vir... Jim blood, I could say a child and... Then I'll be, you know, sent forever. Right. Okay, that's it. I'm done talking. Wow. Now all I have to do is find myself some virgin kids. Thanks for the guidance, coach. My pleasure, kid. You get rid of the kid? Mm -hmm. Now let's celebrate. Take off your shoe and we'll toast with champagne. But how was he? What'd he say? Is everything all right? Oh, God. Oh Relax. God. Oh God. I handled everything. It was a walk in the park. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I'm getting this right. You listen to your elder, please? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're doing everything right. Okay, that's that. We better get started. This may take a while. Good afternoon. Oh yeah, what's so afternoon about it? Well, it's 4.30 p.m. What kind of an example is that for your son? Don't worry about Oral, he's fine. Ship off the old block. My own flesh and blood. Oh, hi, Dad. Pretty great, huh? 